Hi, we're Jalen and Nick Tenney. We attend the Miralagos campus. We have been there since Christmas Eve of 2015, and we are with the Campbell's Life Group. Fortunately enough, we had uh, uh, some friends that were there, so that helped with us uh, becoming acquainted quickly. Uh, but from there, we, we grew some pretty organic and uh, good friendships and some lifelong bonds with the people within that group. And since then, uh, last, I believe it was October, we were asked by the Campbells to attend base camp. And when we did that, that's when we really felt called and led by God to multiply and to grow groups in Rush Creek. Um, and that's currently where we are. I'm Tabby Coates and I go to Green Oaks campus and this is my life group leader, Lindsay Trammell. Hi. <laughs> Midway through my base camp, I found out that my two-year-old granddaughter was gonna have open heart surgery due to having a hole in her heart. So I didn't lead a group this year, but I feel like this is my way of learning more from Lindsay and to get more involved in doing what I need, you know, what it takes to be a leader. When she told me about uh, her grandchild, I was like, look, if, if God is calling you to lead a group now, go ahead and lead a group. But if not, if you need some time just to sit back and, and just kind of watch how I do it or, or come underneath my wing of how to do it, then that's fine. You don't have to leave and go lead a, a group now. You can just hang out with us and, and help me lead our group. And so I've talked her into going from apprentice to kind of co-leading. So she's in both, both shoes right now, but she's doing a great job. Probably the best decision we made was uh, joining the life group because when we moved here from Virginia, we, uh, we didn't get very connected in the area. We were only there uh, about a year and a half. Uh, so when we moved here, it, it was a commitment on our part that we were gonna get more involved. When you move away from your family, it's very important to get connected to, I think, a church body because they become your extended family. When, when times of crisis or even in times of celebration, you need people there that surround you with love and support and that's exactly what our life group has done for us is surround us. We've experienced um, the birth of a child, we've experienced um, surgeries, we've watched a family struggle with um, a, a, a poor decision made by one of their teenagers. If we weren't there for each other, I don't know how any of us would have survived those difficult circumstances that we found ourselves in. So they, because a lot of those folks are in the same situation we are, they are the family we are their family because they don't have family around here. So I think that's very important. When we finally decided to go and we got in such an amazing life group that, I mean, they, they were almost like family. And it was, at that point on, I cannot think of a reason not to be in a life group. You know, it's, we've had so many, well, I, I think these are gonna be lifelong friends and, and I mean, borderline what you would almost wanna call family because of joining a life group and, and not just joining, but being active in it and, and hanging out with these people and, and doing life with them, so. My first word of advice would be don't overcomplicate being a life group leader. I would just say have the confidence that if God is calling you, He's gonna equip you to move forward in being a life group leader because uh, that's what He did for us and I know He'll do it for you too. The most uh, rewarding aspect of being an apprentice and leading a life group would be pretty clearly hearing the call of God uh, leading me to do this. Um, and it's probably the first time that I've really felt that. So it's, it's very uplifting, it's very spiritual uh, feeling, very rewarding. I mean, it, just, it was just very fulfilling to know that you had a group of people that no questions asked, welcome you into your home. You know, and now we feel like, you know, we're in a position, we feel like God's calling us to do that same thing. And hopefully be that, be that group that opens their doors to someone who's been looking for a way to get connected. Even if they've lived here, it's an opportunity, you know, to bring someone in that hasn't had that experience and, and hopefully see the same thing we saw, you know, over the last year.